Hello, readers. My name is Miss Scary, and I'm so excited to be learning with you today. Before we get started with our lesson, let's say hello with our welcome song. You ready? Hello, readers. Hello, readers. How are you? How are you? I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to teach you. Hello, you, you and you. Readers, do you know what the word vocabulary means? Well, vocabulary is a collection of words and their meanings. Why do you think it's important for us to learn new words? Think about that for a second. Now whisper your answer to me. Why is it important to learn new words? I'll listen. Those were amazing answers. Learning new words makes us even smarter. But when we know a lot of words, it gives us lots of choices to use when we're writing and speaking. And it helps you when you're reading to better understand the text. To do this, we're going to create a Friar Organizer what you're going to need is three pieces of paper and something to write with. So I'm gonna grab my paper and you go grab yours. I'll be right back. Okay, readers, I'm back with my three pieces of paper and something to write with. I grabbed a pen, but you can write with whatever you like. So to get us started, the first thing we're going to do is stack our papers just like this. Then we're going to fold our paper both the long way and the short way. So we'll fold it in half like this and then we'll fold it the long way, like this. You're going to end up with a piece of paper that has four different sections. So what you're going to do now is you can draw a big line right down the crease where your paper's folded, like this. and across the long way where the other crease is, just like this. This is what makes our Freyer model organizer. Let's get ready to put some words in our Freyer model. The graphic organizer is going to help us stay organized while we learn all these new words. It's gonna be where we record the word, the definition, use a sentence, and put a picture there. So since we're working with vocabulary development today, let's write the word, word, in our first box on the upper left hand, just like this. Word. Good, make sure you have enough space to write your word. Now, in the next box, we're going to write the word sentence. It's going to be in our lower left-hand box. And that's where we'll write our sentence to go with our word, just like this. And I have two boxes left. On the top box of my right side, I'm gonna write the word define. And that's where I'll put the meaning for all of the words that I learned today. And in our final box, we're going to write the word draw or picture because that's where we'll put our picture to help us better understand what the words mean. So this is what your Freyer model will look like. So readers, now that you've made your own graphic organizers, we're going to get ready to hear our first word for today. So our first word, are you ready? It's the word similar. Have you ever heard the word similar before? 
Maybe your teachers have used it or someone that you love. So let's write the word similar in our top box that says word. Write similar, just like I did. Great, now you're going to listen to me use the word similar in a sentence. The girl and her friend had on similar shirts. So let's add that sentence to our sentence portion of our graphic organizer. What do you think the word similar means now that you've heard me use it in a sentence? Hmm, think about it. Well, similar means to have qualities in common or be alike or the same. So in my define section of my Freyer model, I'm going to write that definition down so that I always remember what the word similar means. So go ahead and write down your definition of similar. To have qualities in common or be the same or different. Our final box is our picture box. And that's where you put a picture that helps you remember what the word means. So my sentence says that the girls had on similar shirts and we know that similar means same. So I'm gonna draw two pictures of a shirt so that I remember it means the same. And I'm even gonna put some stripes on mine. So that way when I see or hear the word similar, I know that it means the same. This will help me figure out that word. So now that we know what the word similar means, I want you to think about what the word dissimilar means. Listen to me use this in a sentence. The two shirts were dissimilar. Hmm, I'm gonna share my thinking. When I add a prefix like dis to a word, it means not. So if dis means not and similar means the same or alike, then dissimilar will mean not alike or not the same. Can you think of a motion to help you remember the word similar? Let me see it and then I'll show you mine. Here's mine. Similar, two and two are the same. So wonderful job and you even filled out your Freyer model with me to help you stay organized with learning your new vocabulary words. So here's our next word. Our next word, readers, is amused. Can you write the word amused in the word section of your Freyer model organizer? Right there. Awesome job. That's the word amused. So I'm going to use the word amused that we just heard in a sentence. And you're going to figure out what do you think this means? Are you ready? I was amused by the clowns at the circus. Hmm, take a moment and write that sentence down and think about what it means. I was amused by the clowns at the circus. When we write the sentence down, it helps us to have a deeper understanding of our vocabulary word. So think about how I used that word in my sentence. What do you think it means? I'm gonna share my thinking and record the definition of the word amused. So amuse is the base word for amused, and it means to find something funny. When I added the D to the end of my word amused, it changed it to the past tense. So if the clowns amused me, that means they entertained me. And let's say I added the prefix un to the beginning of my word amused, and I was unamused by the clowns at the circus. If I know that un means not, but amused means to entertain me, then that means the clowns did not entertain me. So now write the definition to find something funny in the define portion. And you can also draw a picture to go with it. Like maybe you draw an emoji that's laughing to help you remember what the word amused means. You can also think about a motion to go with the word and that really helps your understanding. So look at my motion. <laughs> 
That was funny. I pretended to laugh. I fake laughed, which means I was amused. That'll help you remember. So now let's learn our next word. Our next word is the word disappear. So it's your turn to write the word disappear in your Freyer model organizer. Hmm, let's listen to me use the word disappear in our sentence. Think about what it means. He watched the fox disappear into the tall grass. Add that sentence and think about what the word disappear means. So first, let's look at our word again, disappear. The word appear in disappear means to be seen. But when I added the dis or the prefix to the word disappear, it means not. So if dis means not and appear means seen, then disappear will mean, tell me, you got it right. It means to not be seen. Can you think of a picture to draw to help you remember the word disappear, which means to not be seen? That's a good drawing. You can also add a motion to it, like look at mine. If you can't see me because I disappear, that will help you remember the word also. So now let's look at our next word. Our next word is the word known. Go ahead and write that down in the upper left-hand corner of your Freyer model. Known. How am I gonna figure this out? Listen to me read the sentence and see what you think it means. I have known my friend for 10 years. Copy that down and think about what does the word known mean? Hmm, I've known them for 10 years. So that means that I must be familiar with them or recognize them. So when I see the word known, I know that it will mean to be familiar with or recognize. What can you draw to help you remember what the word known means? I could draw two friends because they maybe have known each other for a long time. So if I know that my word known means familiar or recognized, do you remember the prefix un that means not? If I put that in front of my word known, do you know what the meaning of the word unknown would be? That's right, it would mean not familiar. And so that would teach me another word. What would your motion be for unknown or known? That was great, readers. So learning the meaning of words is important because it helps you to build a better knowledge of your words but it also gives us a lot of options for our word choice. So you all have been great today, and I thank you so much for joining me as we learned about the importance of using vocabulary words. Remember that words are everywhere around us, and the more words that we know, the more choices that we have to use them. So take the time to make your own Freyer models like we did today. I had a great time teaching you today. So until next time, I'll see you later, readers. Thank you.